All right, I am repairing a Delta 1700 series tub valve. It's leaking and it never stops leaking. And that's a very common problem. These are fairly complicated uh, to replace the cartridge. A uh, cartridge looks like this. And that's uh, the third RP32104. Here's some information on the back, 1700 series, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, of course, make sure your main water is turned off on the side of your house or, or wherever it's at. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the water pressure out. And there's no water pressure because uh, it's a two-story house and uh, I guess all the water... Uh, is in the downstairs pipes. Okay, so here's what we do. This cap right here, it just pops off. That's pretty easy. And you end up with something that looks like that. Okay, so the next step is to get a Phillips screwdriver. By the way, just to show you how it works, uh, you know, this makes the water cooler or hotter, and there's a little notch right here. Um, and it stops it from going past this point. Now, always use a hand screwdriver for this. Don't use a, a, a drill driver because when it comes to tightening, um, the, the power drill drivers tend to uh, strip things out. It'll strip it, especially plastic. That's plastic. Okay, I got the screw out. This just pops right out. Now it's always a good idea to be organized. So here I just use a little plastic uh, tray and uh, make sure you, you put all the parts in order so that it's a lot easier to put back together. Okay, the next step is to take this little plastic thing out. You can just grab it with your fingernails or stick a little screwdriver in there. Uh, just make note that, uh, see there's some teeth, teeth around the edge. Then there's this open part right here. And uh, just try to, when you put it back in, just try to center the open part kind of around here. So don't, don't put it like this. It won't fit. Just make sure to but it's somewhere around here. The exact position doesn't really matter. This just keeps uh, tension. There's, um, it's like spring loaded, but they're plastic springs. Okay, so after you take that out, the next step is to take this handle off. And uh, it's best to grab it with two hands, but I don't have two free hands right now. So just you just kind of wiggle it. And it, as you wiggle it, you just pull it towards you until you pull this whole thing off. Okay, so it's loose, so it comes off just like this. Now, if you look at the cartridge, you'll see there's some teeth on the top and some teeth on the bottom, and it's smooth to the left and the right. So just make note of that, so when you, when you reinstall this, uh, the reinstallation will go a little smoother. And these teeth in here, make sure they match up with the teeth behind it. So you see that it's smooth on the left and right, smooth on the left and right, and then there's teeth on the top and the bottom. And if you look where the handle is, it's in uh, you know the five o'clock position. So just make sure that all matches up when you reinstall. Okay, this next step was pretty easy. Uh, there were two of these screws in these two holes. Just unscrew them, the Phillips screwdriver, and take this plate off right here. Now, you see this plate stays on. Don't touch that one. Just remove this uh, 
this round plate and while you're in here make sure to inspect it for leaks uh, you want to make sure that it's not leaking on the inside if if the uh, previous installer didn't hook this up right water will leak from be behind here down into your walls and then you'll get water damage in your house so just do a thorough inspection uh, make sure there's no leaking water uh, in your walls by the way just a little note sometimes this piece does come off it's really not attached with anything there's just a foam seal and it's probably not a bad idea to take it off anyways so you don't scratch it up when you do the next step now one of the most important steps is to is to remember how this cartridge sits in there and if you can see it on the on the top of the cartridge where these teeth are it says hot side it says hot side so just make a mental note of that so when you reinstall the new cartridge you don't get it upside down and because if that happens cold will be hot and the hot will be cold and that will just confuse people okay the next step is to get a pipe wrench hopefully you have one if you do not own a pipe wrench then uh, you should buy one very very useful so just uh, I can't do this with one hand so I'll just tell you and then I'll cut it so the teeth are gonna go you know around this brass ring just make sure you don't put too much force on it you unscrew it pretty slowly um, and also make sure you don't scratch the tile if you have tile around it uh, if I had more time, I'd probably put some uh, masking tape around here to prevent scratches, but you don't have to do that. So if you want to see a side view right here, it's this brass ring right here that you need to unscrew this way. That's counterclockwise. Like that, okay? Okay, it wasn't very tight at all, so... The rest can be unscrewed by hand, which is nice. Carefully slip that off. And that exposes the uh, cartridge right there. Then you just wiggle it out. But when you wiggle it out, do it real slowly because there's pieces in there that might pop out. You want to make sure you know what you're dealing with. Like I said, this is one of the more complicated uh, cartridge installations I've done. So once again the cartridge it pop, just pops straight out. Don't twist it. Just pull it straight out slowly. And you might get some water coming out like there is here. And remember the water is shut off. The main water is shut off. If the main water was not shut off I'd be taking a shower right now. Alright, so here is the cartridge. Now we're still not done yet because inside here where the water is shooting out again, there's two rubber gaskets and a couple springs that need to be replaced. So we'll go on to the next step now. Okay, for the next step, you gotta take those two washers out, get some type of tweezers, unless you have really skinny, small fingers, and slowly pull that out. And you see there's a, a, a washer and a spring. And know how they go in, they only go in one way. 
All right, we'll do that with the uh, with the other one. Remove it, that is. I just want to point out something really important. These springs only go in one way. Now they're smaller towards the bottom and they're larger towards the top. And the way these washers are, there's an opening on the bottom there, see that? So when you reinstall these, make sure that the smaller part of the spring goes inside the washer. And then that's how you install it straight back in the valve housing. Okay, just when you thought you were done, see those two things that look like eyes staring at you? I just get some tweezers, you know. I pulled it apart partially when I wasn't filming, but just, just to demonstrate, you can just pull it straight out. Then you'll see a lot of uh, calcium deposits, mineral deposits. That's what makes your uh, your faucet leak. So uh, the next step is to get a a little uh, little nylon or wire. You can use a wire brush if you you don't do it too hard. And you need to get all that calcium crud out of there before you install the new cartridge and the new washers and whatnot. And just to show you on this uh, bottom side of the washer, you know, I see all the the one on the left has all kinds of mineral deposits. That's what prevents it from leaking. Now, it didn't look like there was any special way it goes in. So this pretty uh, looks the same whether you put it in this way or that way. So it'll be fine. Okay, here's a little soft bristle brush you can use to uh, clean out the deposits. Now sometimes the deposits will be really stubborn so you have a choice. I mean you can the deposits are not coming out I can I like to dip the brush in CLR or Lime Away or something like that um, try to do that as opposed to using um, a metal brush because if you if you scratch the smooth surfaces with the metal brush then water can can, can still leak even even with new with new gas with new uh, new rubber in there uh, this is really important if you do not get that crud out it could still continue to leak now this brush is not getting anything out so my next step I'm going to get some uh, CLR some type of uh, some type of uh, solvent that will dissolve mineral deposits